thank you so much for joining me today. I thought I'd take a little day trip out to Altrincham Market and boy was I not disappointed. There were so many unique and wonderful stalls there. Ooh, and stay till the end to see what I bought. <laughs> Let's crack on, shall we? There were all sorts of different and unique stalls, including stalls selling unusual and handmade accessories. I'm obsessed with those sunglasses. And just wait for this red bag. Oh. This stall was selling lots of essential oils and other infusory, incense-y kind of items. Spoiler alert, I bought something from this stall. <laughs> wow, just look at all of those flowers. They had stalls with fresh cut flowers, dried flowers and live plants. The selection was both vast and beautiful. There were also some pottery stalls and some other crafty bits and bobs. This clothing stall was by Jo and Co and looked like really, really nice quality and pretty cool and unique clothing. And this stall was by Northern Couture and I loved this t-shirt. They still specialise in alcohol and aren't those cans just terribly tempting? <laughs> oh my gosh, the next stall I was absolutely in love with. It had lots of wonderful things to help you reduce your waste and reduce your carbon footprint. From bathroom items like soap and razors to laundry detergents, sanitary products, to even pantry items. Perfect for topping up your jars of whole foods and organic ingredients. Look at those little cleaning pods! Oh. I loved this herb stall. If I wasn't so far from home, I'd have picked up a few for sure. This little bit was on the outside section of the market and had lots of food stalls, including oh, Dutch pancakes. Oh, oh. Look at that mountain of cheese. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a cheerful smile. Everyone needs to go and buy from Teo's food before my heart actually melts. This is Leaf and Kettle and they sell, would you believe, tea. Very nice tea actually. And this lady sold very delicious vegan goods. I wish I'd have tried the cheese. And the lemon loaf. And the cheesecake. Okay, I need to go back ASAP. <laughs> We're back from the market! Ooh, I got a bag full of treats here. Would you like me to go through them with you? Very good. Let's get on then. 
First of all, we got this vegan cake. It is orange and pistachio. And the lady said it was really, really extra moist because there's a lot of apple juice in there as well. I'll come closer to show you. This is what the top of it looks like. There are all the pistachio nuts on top. And then look how, I don't know if I can, I'll get it out and show you. Look how delicious and moist it looks inside. I'll just smell it. It's so good. Cannot wait to have that with a cup of tea in a minute. Just waiting on an Earl Grey. I also got this tea infuser. So you put your loose tea leaves or anything like flowers, whatever you want to infuse into this little basket bit and pop it in, let it steep for however long you want to and remove it and then et voila. You don't need tea bags because some of them are still using plastic in their tea bags, how silly is that? Um, but yeah, it just takes that away and means you can infuse pretty much whatever you want. Is that pretty cool? And also from the tea man, I bought a cup of tea from him. I got the Russian caravan tea and it was really delicious. It was extra smoky. I've had it once before in Sally Lund's and it, oh, it was really nice. If you haven't been there, it's in Bath and they do Oh, it's like a sweet bread and they're absolutely massive and then you have different toppings on them and my favourite is the cinnamon butter but I had the Russian caravan tea there and I've just had it again today and it's really delicious extra smoky and the man from the tea stall also gave me a little free sample and oh it smells so nice it smells really like refreshing And then, this is the thing that I'm super excited about because I've never had anything like this before. It is, ta -da! It's an oil burner. And it also came with a soy wax candle, like a tea light one to heat it. I'll show you how it works in a second. And a de-stress essential oil blend mix. Ooh, so here it is. The lady was really good as well. She was like, oh, you can choose any colour of this that you want. And I chose the blue because I really like the blue one. Um, and it's a soy wax candle. And she said that soy wax is a lot better for you than like paraffin wax because it, it's not good to breathe in paraffin wax, but soy wax is actually okay for you and lasts quite nice and long. So yeah, I think I'm gonna order a few more of these tea lights, soy ones, but I cannot wait. What I have to do is fill this with water and then five to 10 drops of this de-stress essential oil blend. So I'll just do that now. Ooh, it's exciting. So that's all filled with water now. Now I just need to add my drops of oil. Oh wow, it smells so good. eight in <laughs> it's dependent on the size of your room so we'll have to see so I've got my flame lit it's going to heat this and then hopefully puff out some nice relaxing de-stressing smells and oils wow it smells absolutely fantastic it smells kind of a bit citrusy. I think it might have bergamot in it. I'm really, really impressed. It's been burning for maybe five minutes now and it smells just absolutely wonderful. I'm so impressed. Well, I had an absolutely wonderful day at the market and I would highly recommend altering a market to everybody because there is something for everybody there. Even if you don't like crafty things, maybe you like food, like like me. <laughs> well, I'm lucky enough to like food and crafty things and clothes. I did love that clothing thing and all of the accessories. Oh, and the flowers. Okay, I think I just loved every single thing. But basically, <laughs> I would really, really recommend going because it was such a lovely little day out and I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a lovely time coming around the market with me 
and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye!